Okay, so here we are in the grow lane. We're in lane two right now. It's pretty nice in here, pretty nice temperature. Let me show you. Check it. Yeah, we're right at 50 degrees Fahrenheit, so it's very comfortable. You're actually gonna start seeing me with less and less clothes on. That didn't come out right. You know what I mean. Okay, I'm gonna be soldering some really small pins right onto the end of these wires to make it easier to actually use. Some flux to clean out the soldering iron. I am not the world's foremost, foremost soldering expert, so sorry to all of you out there who are, and I am doing you a disservice, but I'm dangerous enough to get the job done. Okay, we have all of our wires built, and now we're going to deploy the code. So here I have my um, project in Eclipse. I'm going to right click on it, go to properties. Tell it to go to lane two, bed one. Lane two, bed one, and deploy. So here we can see in the console that all the code is being built. Okay, so what we're doing right now is we're taking um, we're actually opening up the automation box and we're installing the temperature and humidity sensor. So I already got it taken apart. What I've done is I just took a piece of Velcro and put that right on the side here. And this is just temporary, remember. And then I wired everything in, I connected the wires up and brought it to the right port on the board. So that's looking pretty good which means we're starting to get temperature and humidity readings in here. So let's look at it on the computer. There we go. So right now we're at 55% relative humidity, which is fantastic. At least that was the first reading. And we're at 60 degrees on the air temperature. So actually our thermometer up front is 10 degrees off. The system might actually need to go through a few updates before it really stabilizes. But right now, uh, we got our timestamp, we got our values, our sensor data, which sensor it is, the uh, units on it, and then the location, and then just an ID here so that we actually can keep track of everything in the database. It's all in the right order. So right now we have the temperature and humidity sensor set up. It is talking wirelessly all the way up to the Wi-Fi unit. It is sending the data to our local server. It's posting that data. And all I really gotta do now is install the temperature sensor here uh, that's gonna go into the bed. That's this guy. And this is all temporary, remember, so it's gonna kinda look ugly uh, until I get the actual environmental monitoring unit built later in phase two for just this lane. And then there will be a lot more sensors. So this is just temporary right now so we can actually start tracking everything and have a web interface where we can see it. So I'm gonna go ahead and put install all this and we'll get back to you. Here's what it looks like right now. You can see those wires just hanging out. That's on purpose, just temporary. Uh, should be no more than a few days until I get the materials to actually start building the permanent box. But in the meantime, I really wanted to get these sensors put in so I could start seeing what is happening inside of the building, outside of the building, and in the grow bed. So what we have, Again, right here, that black box right there is a temperature and humidity sensor. And then this line coming out, and going down, that goes down into the rocks, a few inches down, and now I can actually see the air temperature inside of the tent, as well as the temperature of the grow bed, and then I have temperature sensors outside of the building and temperature sensors inside of the building and it's all now posting through the server or onto the server through Wi-Fi 
uh, so we can actually start charting it. So I got to get inside and actually put together the charting system and I'll do a video on that itself. But in the meantime, I'm going to go set up lane three to do the same thing. I'm really excited. This has been pretty cool getting these sensors put in. I got more sensors coming. So hopefully next week they'll be here and I can start building up uh, the oxygen sensor, the pH sensor, as well as the uh, photosynthetic PAR, absorbable radiation uh, sensor, which will tell me how much light the plants are getting. Then we can really start tricking this whole thing out. So I'm excited. Hey, thanks for following along. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Hey. Um, and subscribe if you like and be sure to tell your friends. We're also on GoFundMe and Patreon if you'd like to help us out. Got a lot of stuff to buy still, so we do appreciate it if you can help. Anyway, that's it. Y'all have a great day. This is Real Martian. Out.